Hi everyone, if you belong to the HR department or you are a team lead or a line manager of any department in your organization, this video is of prime importance. As a corporate employee, you would have a fair bit of idea that how much focus the companies are on manpower planning and budgeting. And it's not just the HR department that has to do the job. As a line manager, it's a very elementary part of your work to manage your teams and to manage their budgets. If you are as a team lead managing a department, you would have to stress upon that what's your budget, how much the company has given you in form of salaries of your team and how do you need to manage it. So if you get an Excel sheet in which you just need to put in the dates of the positions in your team and it automatically calculates all the budget for the whole year or for the duration that you have specified, how does that sound to you? Let me take you to my computer screen and I'm gonna explain the detail of that sheet that you just need to put in the dates. For example, you have planned any person in your department for one year or for six months, you just put in the dates and it will automatically calculate the entire amount for that particular duration. It's a manpower sheet in Excel format and it's gonna make your life easy. So let's go to the screen. So here we are on our computer screen and I have opened the Excel sheet. It's a very easy to use format and it's brilliant. I'm gonna explain the sheet in detail, but let me tell you the catch first. What is the trick in this sheet? This is the trick, the date. For example, this is a person that we have budgeted as a line manager or, the, or as HR, you have to budget a person. Now, usually it's for one year, but in project-based organization, you have to budget people for three months or six months, or usually the vacant position you budget that, okay, I need a person after three months or after six months. So the trick is the dates. You don't need to change or touch anything in this sheet. All is automated. You just need to change the date. Like this person, he is currently planned from 1st July 2022 till 30th June 23. That is a complete one year. And for example, let me show you first that it's 1st July 22 till 30th June 23. So the 12 months cost is mentioned over here. Here you can see the complete one year cost is mentioned. Now, what's the trick over here? For example, if we say that this person is planned not till 30th June, he is planned till 30th March 23. That means for nine months. So what happens with the sheet? You will see it now. The cost is just for nine months. The remaining three months are not mentioned over here. Let me hide the column so you can see this in more, more detail and you can see the automation over here right now this person that we initially planned for eight months let's say that we change the dates over here and we want this person for six months so we do it 31st of december and it's not 23 it's 22 so as soon as i'll do it you will see the difference that january february cost that is you can see over here that will go away so here you see it's just six months so this is how the complete sheet is automated what you have to do is put in the information like i'll explain in detail this is the, the first column the first column is serial number then the sap id then there's employee name then there's the department the position this is a position id that we give to each and every person that is manned on a position it's a position number the date uh, the detail of the position and then there's the personal area. These are some SAP related information. What is the employee group? Is he permanent or contract? What is his band? The narrow band it, since Mercer is implemented. Then there are charging details. So this is how actually this sheet is fully automated. And this part is very important. As I told you about the dates, let me show you the compensation or the benefits that we have added over here. One is salary or planned compensation. Planned compensation is for those positions that are vacant. And salary is for those positions that obviously are manned and are currently working. So in this column, number W, 
you will mention the salaries that the person have and for those who are vacant you will obviously add in the budgeted salary then there's car allowance that's a benefit then there's fuel allowance there's medical outpatient there's leave fare assistance there's mobile allowance and then there's a 5% annual increment that is being added so if you add this all up salary and the benefits the total cost is mentioned right here and since we plan this person for 6 months so for 6 months all the salary and the benefits are mentioned over here like if we say we'll like hide this once again to show you some more uh, about it that this is the total cost of this person and uh, say that we are planning this person for just 3 months so we'll do it till july august and september so 30th september as soon as i enter it november december and october they will go away so here you go you just have the cost for 3 months so similarly if i want to make it for 1 year it is for full 1 year no problem you just have to change the dates and you are done with it for full 1 year now uh, obviously this is an automated sheet and if you see over here obviously the years pass by it's for july 2022 till 2023 for example if we put in 21st july 2023 that is obviously next year and we do it till 2024 so here you can see that all the cost that was mentioned that was since it's automated was coming over here it's all gone away so what is the reason behind this the reason behind is the fact is since it's automated so the dates were according to 2022 till 2023 so if you want to make this to for the next year there's a trick behind that as well you need to change the dates over here like it's july 2023 so you'll enter over here and now you can see that the cost is coming similarly you have to change it for august and it comes over here and it's for september so that's how the cost will all the cost will come over here so hope that you like this sheet and uh, it's a very impressive and a very easy tool through which you can easily very effectively manage your budgets and your teams and it will be very very productive for you hope you like the video if you do like it please subscribe to my channel keep watching the videos and i'll be coming up with some other stuff very soon thank you so much